purpose and function of this video is to take a look at an individual who's been commenting on my YouTube channel for the past three years or so, named, named Mitchell Smith. As you see on my screen here, uh, the first comment is from three years ago. Now this individual, um, I've been familiar with who he is doing quantum grammar searches on YouTube. He is in a number of videos where he is actually out in the public, uh, you know, going into courtrooms, I think, going into public meetings, outside of courthouses, really trying to take action and perform uh, what I would consider perform deeds with good volition to stop trespassing and so on and so forth. You know, even so much as to perhaps even prosecute other individuals, which prosecute would be a fiction term. But the point I'm making is, from what I've seen, I don't think he's a bad guy at all. I think he's a good individual. He's a good person. He's a good man. This is what I think. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out what exactly his volition is when it comes to myself and my YouTube channel and what I do. Now I'm going to give you a piece of the story, obviously from my perception and my perspective. I put a lot of thought into this just because it puzzles me because this individual does seem like a good hearted individual. And in the same breath, I see him contracting and fraternizing with individuals whom I cannot say the same about. That they're not good-hearted individuals. That they're actually individuals with a malicious volition, at least towards me. So that's the purpose of, of doing this. Um, and also to really audit and examine the knowledge level of this Mitchell Smith. As you can see, he's been on here for three years. I will also say, well, I'll leave that for later. So to begin with, we have uh, three years ago, he left the comment, colon, for the knowledge of the Parsi syntax grammars with the correct sentence structure, which anyone with a rudimentary knowledge of the grammar knows that that is not correct. That's adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, babble simply because the sequencing of positionals and the format is not correct and the colon in front of the for there is basically saying for the for the and then he says uh, for this claim of the confidential is with the avoidance of the public view with any matter by a claimant's conveyance oh that's me sorry about that so next we see he has colon space private and colon space confidential, which is incorrect because it, it would mean of the private and of the confidential according to the mathematical interface of the full colon usage. Um, what else does he say here? Yes, Mitchell Smith. So he does the colon space and then private and then he puts the colon tight up against the M here and then a colon space private. So it's very inconsistent, which shows that, you know, they don't know or aren't quite sure of how to use a colon. Um, so I, I kind of go into a little bit of teaching here. You place private and confidential at the beginning and end of your comments to a public platform. Do you mean for your comments to only be seen by you and I or do you mean for the world to cite them? Please let me know. Uh, yeah, so I don't go into the colon mechanics here. I'm just looking for volition at this point because I don't know anything about the guy or his knowledge level, really. Uh, for the world to cite them, just practicing. Thank you for the salvage claim, sir. Uh, I say for the claim of the thankfulness is with the kind words of the Mitchell Smith. With the humble companion for this claim. So I, whatever. It is what it is. So for the closure a year ago, for the closure of the screenshot is with the gratitude 
which is incorrect because not it does not end on an authority. There's no by the. So for the claim of this claimant with the knowledge, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, this is not correct. He's talking about Gordon. Oh, the harassment scenario. Okay. That's when they doxed the Red Thumb Club and Gordon uh, Michael Schiller was trying to get my public address. I'm trying, I'm sorry, trying to get my, my home address, which is very uh, creepy. The void of the stop correct for the sale of the live life claim void of the authority by the chief. So Mitchell is making a claim for someone called Chief, which is very interesting. And it's something that I find that people who follow Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould, who fancies himself to be some sort of commander in chief, that they make claims for him, which is a violation of rule one rule equal for, for sure. Because we do not make claims for other people in correct sentence structure. One may only make a claim for oneself. Unless Russell has given Mitchell Smith the power and authority to make claims for him. Which in and of itself would be interesting because this is not correct sentence structure. This is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. Why would the quote-unquote commander-in-chief give someone permission to speak for them when they don't use correct grammar. So on that note, let's go into a little bit more of who this guy is. So I did a search on YouTube and found a couple things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show, this is from two years ago, it looks like. I don't know if it actually is from two years ago. It may be from uh, longer, but let's see what Mitchell has to say about who he is in this video. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Federal Postal Judge Focolin Mitchell Smith. So if you heard it the same as I heard it, he just said he was a Federal Postal Judge. Then, as the story went on, as you just saw here in the comments, he is making a claim for the chief. This is when I noticed he began associating with, and I think I'm pretty sure he bought a claim of the live life from uh, either the quantum community or the Red Thumb Club or whatever they were called that week, authorized by Russell J. Gould, in which Russell J. Gould now own the copyright copy claim to Mitchell's live life. So now Mitchell came in under subordinate to Russell. And then Russell changed that title. He no longer called himself federal postal judge. What did he call himself after he bent the knee to Russell J. Gould? My name is full colon neutral hyphen claimant hyphen federal, hyphen witness, hyphen federal, hyphen postmaster, hyphen bank, hyphen banker, full colon Mitchell, full colon Smith, period, and textile, first letter. So he no longer claims federal postal judge after kissing the ring of Russell J. Gould. He vacated that title, and now he claimed whatever he just said there. Very interesting. He continued to comment on my YouTube channel, as you can see here. So this individual here, too good to lose today, says this must be pure lies. If it were truth, there would be some evidence for proof. There's no way to support claims of correctness. There's no such technology. That's hilarious. Anyways. I responded to that comment. I can see why we would say what such things, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, at the time I only had 100 plus videos. I now have uh, uh, over 400. Uh, Mitchell then says, for I am with the comprehend. 
adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. So then I say, thank you for sharing. As this is a channel strictly about grammar and not personal stories, I will offer to you that your comment is not correct sentence structure. And then I syntax it. And I show that there's a particle of negation in there. Uh, and then I give a syntax key. And then he says, for the closure of the sick, claimant witness, po oh, oh yeah, and look, no spaces in here and all that, but there is a space here. I don't know what that means there. I know, he's, okay, I know what he means is in for the closure of the sick, but again, I'm showing that this individual does not, there's parts of his correct sentence stru structure missing. And then he says, never abbreviate, you leave yourself open for interpretation. So then I say, the sick is in brackets, one may easily use abbreviations if they are used with correctness, i.e. one must know what they are doing. You can learn more by studying my YouTube channel. Exactly. And I say, I be, you begin, and then I give him a lesson on correct sentence structure. Now, I have done this over and over again with this individual, mostly saying the same things. But as you can see here, he continues to pretty much parrot things that he perhaps, and this is a guess on my part, that he has perhaps heard from others without any closure as to why. Like the 13 words, uh, so on and so forth. As I say here, Mitchell, as I've told you multiple times in the past, feel free to study my channel. Or you may contact me and I offer him the email address to have a video consultation so that he can ask me questions. And I say, I also know who you are affiliated with. So it makes it more suspect to me. So I'm telling him flat out, I'm suspect of him because just like I said at the beginning of this video, I feel he's a good hearted individual, but he associates with people who are not the same of the same volition and the same mindset. So as you can see, keeps uh, commenting, but never ever really goes any further than that. For example, 11 months ago, stay out of the fiction court, they're closed. They've been canceled out, canceled out. Like, is, does he think that because Russell J. Gould told him that? I mean, what, what, when he walks by a court, does he see this, this, the closed sign on there? Again. Unless you're me, I have stood the test of time in the pit. That may be so. You did not spend time pit using correct sentence structure because I've seen no evidence that you have closure on the grammar. So whatever you did in the pit had nothing to do with correctness or correct sentence structure is what I'm trying to tell you. Because with the evidence that I have compiled here in uh, these comments, as well as the video I'm about to show, you don't have closure on the grammar, my friend. And I said, I have students with high levels of closure and grammar who have navigated through the fiction courts that are supposedly closed just fine, which is true, which is true. And it's also true that I myself haven't gone into those foreign vessels and dry dock to use correct sentence structure because I have stopped the trespass through my federal postal court. And that's just a fancy way of saying I stopped the trespass through the mailbox with correct sentence structure knowledge. So I didn't have to go in to any courtroom. I'd be more than happy to do so though, because I have more than enough confidence in my own abilities and skill to navigate through there safely. Definitely not afraid of it. It's just not necessary. Why would I? You don't need to, but I have students that I've trained and taught and helped and they've gone through just fine multiple times.
And again, I say I don't tell anyone to stay out of anywhere because it's everybody's choice to do what they want to do. I don't ever tell anyone what to do. And again, you know, this, this type of attitude is indicative of the individual that he subordinated himself to and, and the, group, the group that he follows. And, and if anybody says, even Mitchell himself, if he says that he didn't subord, subordinate himself or he doesn't follow anybody, whose name is in the copyright copy claim section of your live life claim? Do you call anybody commander or chief? Because if you do, you've subordinated yourself. You've accepted someone's authority over you. So then 11 months ago, he says, for the gratitude, the closure with the adverbs to, whoa, what is that? See, again, I rest my case. There is no knowledge. There's no correct sentence structured knowledge here. And this was 11 months ago. Um, I'm talking, we're talking about adverbs following one another. And I talk about, I give closures to why I don't use that and why I don't find it necessary. And I also ask them for closure on this as a correct sentence structure with the mathematical interface. But he does not give closure to that at all. He does not even address that because it's not correct sentence structure. There is no mathematical interface because he has never shown that he has knowledge of the mathematical interface. He talks about it, but he never shows it through his performances. I have since come to say that an adverb would not modify another adverb. I've drawn my line in the sand, put my stake in there. An adverb would not modify another adverb. And I give closure to that in multiple other videos. No one has ever given me closure as to why or how an adverb could possibly modify another adverb. But that's neither here nor there. He continued to comment. Uh, seven months ago, he's again using this type of weird, you know, throwing colons in and things like that. This is not correct sentence structure at all. He's talking about looking for a video from a director's party. And then I, I actually found it and I shared it with him. Uh, what else? For the right of the letters with the third party. Again, there is no authority in that. So that is void of correctness. That is not correct sentence structure. Hello again, Mitchell. I see a cause of concern, verb possession, but no authority in your sentence. Who is the authority of your claim? In order to stay neutral, I left that part out. I have a feeling that's not why Mitchell left that part out. Your volition was to use correct sentence structure to voice an opinion. Correct sentence structure is about claiming facts. Mathematical interface. Hope that helps. So, you know, by this time you can kind of see that I'm wary of this individual because they keep coming on here for three years and I have not seen their knowledge level increase at all, which tells me either they're not watching my videos, they're not studying, or they're learning from someone else who doesn't know the grammar and has no idea of why these mechanics are used or how they're used or some other reason that I have yet to see. And again, you know, I talk, I, I uh, offer him my email address so that he can uh, contact me to set up a, a consultation because Listen, folks, if you're going to be commenting on my channel for three years, going over the same topics over and over again, making the same mistakes over and over and over and over again, and you're here to learn, you say you're here to learn as he does, why wouldn't you? 
why wouldn't you request a 10 to 15 minute video consultation with me so you can ask me whatever you want we can look at each other eye to eye face to face and i can give you closure like that why so this is what makes me suspicious of this man even though i said i feel that he's good-hearted and all that i'm suspicious of him because why wouldn't he do that why wouldn't he if he really wants to learn this grammar and i keep showing him over and over and over again how to do things correctly why what he's doing is not correct i keep showing him but yet he keeps doing the same things even up until 23 hours ago he talks about a colon and how it was explained to him how a colon is used listen a colon is a symbol representative of position lodial phrases the position of the colon determines whether it means for of with or by if you're going to use it and as you can see here i have given closure in these two videos plus multiple other videos on this channel And then I share with him here, you know, I've shared no less than two videos to give you ample closure. I've offered on multiple occasions, video consultations. And then again, you know, he puts a, puts a full colon in front of a bracketed statement with a question mark at the end. What is the point of that? That to me tells me that this individual does definitely have some holes in their knowledge level. So anyways, let's move on to a video where he's syntaxing. So I can give you an example of him syntaxing in real time. An adverb. Uh, if you look at the rules, the only thing that can appear in front of a pronoun is an adjective. So the verb watching is changed to an adjective. And if you follow... Comment is tangible contract. Comment would never be an adverb because adverbs can only be non-tangible contract. To explain what I mean by that, if I tell you that I read your comment, do you know what I mean by comment? Yes, you do, because you have a tangible contract with what that word means. Whereas the word you, for example, on your screen is non-tangible. Why is it non-tangible? Because if I say, you go to the store, what does you mean? If I say, Jason go to the store, now you know what it means because you have a tangible contract with Jason. Jason is a tangible contract name. You is not specific. It can be anything. There's no tangible contract with it. It represents something else. It's non-tangible contract. A non-tangible contract words will either be adverbs Verbs are pronouns. Tangible contract words will either be verbs, adjectives, or pronouns. Follow the rules again. The only thing that can follow a pronoun is an adverb. And it is... Or a break in the continuance of the evidence. A fact, so it changes it to a gerund verb. So, basically... So, we are watching you. If you're looking at this. R is tangible contract how do i know that well i parsed the word i looked it up i did the work and the nativity root meaning of r is tangible contract and i'll leave it up to you the viewer to go ahead and do the work yourself to look it up to find out if what i'm saying is correct or not correct r is tangible contract we is non-tangible contract watching is tangible contract you is non-tangible contract. So if we just take those five words there, we is adverb, R is adjective, watching is pronoun, you is adverb, comment, uh, admitted, would be verb, dangling participle verb. So it would be a one, three, four, one, two DPV. So again, this is more evidence that 
not only does Mitchell lack in his correct sentence structure knowledge, but he also lacks in complete closure on syntax and how to do that with closure and how to provide a continuance of the evidence for the values that you're banking, which I just did. I just shared with you how I came to the conclusion of the numbers, the values that I banked on those words. So that is, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the dilemma here because I don't know whether this guy is with a positive volition or whether he's some sort of elaborate troll, infiltrator, interloper. I don't know. It's very suspicious to me that someone who's been here for three years and their knowledge level has not, well, at least there's no evidence that his knowledge level has gone up, has increased, that he's gained any more comprehension than he had when he first started commenting. I don't see any evidence of it. What I do see evidence of is that he has joined what I would term, from my perception and my opinion, he has joined a cult. The Russell J. Gould cult. Where those people who are members of that cult, just like he does, just parrot things that they hear. Just repeat what is said. They make claims for the chief. They repeat what the chief says, as if it's the gospel. It's fact. When they have no evidence or present no evidence that any of this stuff has any credence at all. Not to mention the severe lack of correctness in the grammar. What they use, what they use is not correct sentence structure. I can prove it every day of the week, every hour of the day. You show me a document that they've written and I can point out all the mistakes in it, multiple mistakes, the same mistakes that he makes, they make. Because they trained him. Well, I can't say that they trained him for sure, but it certainly appears that way. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the whole purpose of this video. I'm trying to figure out if this guy is a troll or if he's just Nassian. He's performing with Nassians, he just doesn't know. He has a good heart. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. And again, you know, I'm just making this video because he will not contact me for a video consultation. He does not want to take that step for some reason. He doesn't want to. He apparently, from his lack of kuleana, i.e. his lack of response to my offerings of video consultations, he does not want to step onto the geometric level playing field with me. And that's not really a surprise because none of those people in that cult want to step onto the geometric level playing field with me. I've only had, I think, one individual do that. And they don't stay on for very long. So, there you have it. I'll leave it up to you. Maybe you can leave some comments and, and let me know what you think about the, the situation. Is this guy a good guy? Is he... Is he here to do harm? Is he here to learn? Why doesn't he want to address these things? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, become a channel member if you choose. Uh, there's some perks and some cool stuff available to you if you want to. If you want to learn the grammar, uh, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a correct grammar workshop. Mitchell, if you're watching this, the offer stands. But there's a caveat for you, Mitchell. Because this has been going on for three years, there's going to come a point, a make or break point, where I am not going to offer you a consultation anymore. Because I'm through with investing now space and in communicating with you 
because it's just been the same thing over and over and over again for three years. Change place.